Morning guys. Okay, so I don't have my mic and earphones in as usual. It decided crap out. <laughs> anyway, had a um had a person talk about um being emotionally attached and all that sort of stuff from a sub perspective and they were like, Oh, calling out to all the subs, littles and all pets and and that all about it. But they asked um pretty valid question saying that you know despite the fact that you know they have plenty of people that are just friends um, they get overly attached particularly after play all that sort of thing and you know how can you cope with it you know they send messages and they're there waiting and waiting for messages and replies and they get depressed and all that sort of stuff now here's the thing it's good that she recognizes that it's happening that's pretty key um, not many people do and she recognizes that they're just friends they're not romantic at all but she gets clingy she gets needy she gets attached and many people have uh, suggested many things like getting a hobby I'm um, having a life um, you know realizing that you know if you're in, if the situation was reversed and you were say doing things that were uh, important to you as well having someone continually message you and say you know what's wrong you haven't called me and whatever after every like you know five minutes um how would that be and um you know, making them not the focus entire focus of your whole life because you're not just that one thing you are more than that and you know you need to express that you know, have a hobby have a job have a life you know get busy living and all that sort of thing um and not to say that it's only subs who do this, tops do as well. I have noticed a lot that a lot of people who can't sort themselves out usually don't have a lot to do. Um, you know, volunteer in a community, get your mind off of it. I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing, but the need to be able to differentiate the emotions that you're having, whether it's brought on by the chemicals in your brain, um, or the situation and all that is pretty vital to keeping healthy relationships in the lifestyle. Um, you know, not crossing those boundaries, um, particularly because a lot of people don't recognise this as a consent issue. But when I explain to them, hey, look, you guys didn't agree to having that sort of relationship, so why are you breaking consent and trying to push it? Like, literally, you are breaking consent. And they are, but, but uh, sub, I can't break. No, no, you breaking a Don's consent by trying to make them go into a relationship or feeling, feeling a need that they didn't agree to. So, think about that. Um, what else? I suppose it's it sounds pretty harsh to say things like that, and a lot of people will go on about it, but the reality is that you know think about the situations as being reversed um, and how to cope with it oh like I said you know sit down you and diarize your feelings out um, have a look at them analyze see if it's really valid um, as it's just uh, well, I'm not saying it's really valid because all feelings are valid but recognize the situation in which those feelings come about if it's a common thing, if you maybe need to talk to somebody else about it, you know, um, friends, family, um, you know, they can sort of say, hey, look, I think you're getting a bit too obsessed with this, and I think you need to back off a little bit. Uh, take your mind off of it by, you know, even say, put your phone away from X time to X time, no matter what. So say, you know, I mean, there are times, particularly on the weekends, where I'm like, you know, I'm not going to look at my phone, I'm not going to look at social media, I'm going to put a ban on that. Um, when I'm with X person, I'm not going to even look at all those alerts and things like that. I mean, if it's an emergency, someone will call me if somebody's dying or something like that, you know, because I would like to spend quality time with people I care about at that time. But at the same time, I want to not want to have that balance where I don't think about that because that makes 
it makes it so much more special when I am there. So it's the kind of thing of where if you each ate chocolate every day, um, a lot of people say, oh no, they wouldn't get sick of it. And put it this way, if you were forced to eat chocolate every day, had chocolate drinks, chocolate food all the time, it would no longer be a special thing. Uh, your body would get used to it. Um, and it would be good for you. So, subs and that who get easily attached. Recognise that those hormones and chemicals in your body, um, they can mimic um, neediness. And, you know, it could be drop and all that as well. You know, have a look at that. If, it, if it's like a couple of days after you see them or a day after you see them or you just leave them, it could be that you're dropping. Um, you know, your brain chemicals are a little bit off. Um, you know, you could feel, you could have other issues like abandonment issues or codependency issues. See a professional, um, have a chat to your friends. Ask them if, you know, you see, they see a pattern that happens where you do this a lot. And it's it, not necessarily with every new person. Um, the cycle could be like years. <laughs> But your long-term friends who have known you will recognize this and go, hey, look, I've seen this and before in you and this is what happened last time. <laughs> I just want you to be careful. I've done that to a few friends. I've done that to a few people. Um, but then after I voice my concern, that's it. And, and then, you know, <laughs> it's up to them because it is, it is their life. So I'm more for taking it slow, um, realising that other people have things in their life you can't immediately answer or everything um, I had that with somebody I sent them a message on a Friday night and they got really cranky I said look I didn't expect you <laughs> to answer me immediately because life and they were quite apologetic afterwards which is cool Just I didn't realise that maybe they were being hassled by other people and you know what Friday night everyone wants to have fun Friday night I should deal with with other issues or business or whatever so you know don't immediately assume people are unwanting everything off you and you don't have to immediately answer back at the same time as when people don't immediately answer back it's nothing personal they could be somewhere they could be asleep they could be at work could be in a meeting a lot of things could be happening so and the phone could just be shit <laughs> I know my phone can be a bit crap sometimes Ah, oh, gotta love it. Anyway, was it Thursday? Yeah. So if you're feeling a bit needy, um, a little bit lost, there are plenty of people out there who care and love about you, and you know they might be a little bit busy at the time, but let you know just just to, so you know that they do think about you. Um, just because they don't immediately answer, they do think about you. Okay, it's one of those things. Um, you can doubt it, you can be unsure about it, but little things will signify that they do care and think about you, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be big, grandiose gestures. I kind of think they're a little bit fake sometimes. Or they're trying to make up for some other form of guilt or make you feel obligated. So, I don't know, it depends on your love language. Anyway. I'll catch you guys later, walking and talking in a corset. Oh, bit of a struggle considering the, the temperature differences, going from cool to being pretty warmish and humid and windy and dry. I don't know. Anyway, catch you guys later. Remember, take care of yourself. Um, think about that. You know, are you feeling too needy? Um, why are you feeling that? Is it a rational reasonable sort of thing to expect of people um, do you have other things you can go on with and how would you feel if if you know other people were um, well, harassing but you know constantly expecting you to answer every minute of every day um, and is that something that was agreed to okay catch you guys later bye